Positive gravity, part one, and in part one, we're going to look at Newton's law of gravitation. Now, gravity is a force that exists between any two pieces of matter in the universe. And Newton's law of gravitation is given on the left-hand side here. Force of gravity is equal to G, universal gravitational constant, which is given over here on the right. M1, which is the mass of the first body. M2, mass of the second body. And R squared, which is the distance between the centers of masses one and two. Now, the universal gravitational constant G was calculated by a scientist by the name of Kavanaugh, and he did it empirically. All right, I'll do a quick example here. Uh, first one is going to be a trivial example. Find the force of gravity. Between 2, 1 kilogram bodies one meter apart. Okay, the force of gravity is just g m1 m2 over r squared is equal to the force of gravity. Give ourselves a little room to write. Force of gravity 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 uh, newton meters square per kilogram square times one kilogram times one kilo, kilogram divided by one meter squared. So the force of gravity is just 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons. Very trivial example, but this wanted to show you how small the force of gravity is. Now, looking at the force of gravity between the Earth and the Sun, so example number two, Find the force of gravity between the Earth and the Sun. And you're obviously going to need some information. The mass of the Earth is equal to 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. The mass of the sun is 1.99 times 10 to 30 kilograms. And the distance between the Earth and the sun is 1.50 times 10 to the 11th meters, or 150 million kilometers. So the force of gravity is just g m1 m2 over r squared. Bring a little plug and chug in the numbers. Force of gravity is equal to g 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, uh, minus 11 newton meters square per kilogram squared times the mass of, uh, say, the Earth first. And mass of the sun. And then the distance between the two of them from center to center. And we need to square that. Doing the arithmetic gives us the value of 3.52 times 10 to the 22nd newtons. Now what I've done is uh, giving this example right here versus the first one to show you that the uh, force of gravity can really be huge in the universe. It's much bigger than that one meter separating two one kilogram masses. All right, I uh, hope that helped. Please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know if things are clear, not clear, need more examples, or anything else. Thanks for your time.